What's up, everybody? This is probably the most boring shot in the world. I know, I get it. You click this video because you want to see how to make a candy tray made of candy. Actually, here's what it looks like. I'm going to spoil the video right now. If you don't want to see what the final product is, skip ahead 10 seconds. So I just pulled out a pepperoni pizza. This right here is a candy tray or it's any sort of tray that you want to use it for. <laughs> We actually put candy inside of this. And this is the final product. I'm so happy with it. So this is what I do in my spare time anyways. And I was making this yesterday and I thought I might as well film it for a video. It could be kind of cool. I've got the shots. I've already edited them through. I'm actually going to narrate through how to do it like with you right now. <laughs> oh my God. Let's hope it goes better than this. And hopefully by the end of this, you guys will know how to do this candy tray. Okay. Welcome to how to make a candy tray made of candy. <laughs> Step one is you want to lay down a drop cloth. This is one I've clearly used before, but this is to prevent any sort of epoxy resin from ruining the surface below. This is our tray. It's this white plastic tray I got for $4.99 at Party City. Simple enough. Actually, this is the exact moment that I uh, that I found my guy. That's when I knew. Next step is you want to spray down a thin layer of Easy Tack. Now you can get this stuff at craft stores pretty much anywhere. It's like liquid tape in a can. When you spray it down, you can touch it and it'll be sticky, but it actually won't come off on your hands. I taped the outside just because I didn't want that part to be sticky, and then I went ahead and sprayed a thin layer of Easy Tack. Now you can see in this shot how thin I went. Again, it's kind of like just like a liquid Velcro. It's gonna adhere to the surface and make it sticky so it holds things. We are using peppermint candy. Now, believe it or not, this bag cost me $26. I know, I didn't realize candy was so expensive. And a lot of you guys are gonna hate me for this shot because they're all individually wrapped in plastic. Not my fault, guys. I don't manufacture the candy. Thanks. Then you're ready to start. Uh, clearly, I didn't know where, where to start here, so I went there. And you're just gonna follow the tray around. Just do as perfect of a circle as you possibly can. Um, I realized pretty quick that I should take the tape off of the tray because I didn't want the candy to be on top of the tape and then rip it off and the candy goes flying. This whole process took around 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how fast you are and how well you match your candy. Now, this shot drives me nuts, guys. Don't even get me started. It wasn't a complete finish. Like, look, it wasn't like a nice centered one. Yeah, I know. Okay, next up is the epoxy part. This is a brand called Verathane. You can get this at Home Depot from anywhere between 50 to like $75. That's all what I remember. Inside the box is two bottles. There is a part A and a part B. Now you're gonna mix these two together one for one. So whatever you put in cup A, you're gonna make the exact same amount in cup B. Super easy. It looks like I'm wearing a backwards hat, kind of like a bro, like a baseball hat, but it's not, I assure you. Because if I had that, I'd have to wear white Oakleys. Whatever I matched in cup A, I'm gonna do the same into cup B, just like this. And they're different colors, so it's easy to know which one you're using. Go ahead and mix those two together and it will not be mixed. It'll stay separated, actually. Get it all out of the cup as much as you can and then stir. Now, this is important. Okay, you need to mix this stuff for two minutes. And don't do it this fast in real life. This is obviously sped up. Because if you do, you'll get air bubbles. Uh, which which there's a big ass one right there. So you just gotta be careful. And then go ahead and pour it on your candy. Now, instead of pouring on top of the candy, you kind of want to aim for the cracks. Because it's important that we get in between. Um, contrary to what I'm doing here, actually. <laughs> Sorry, this is the first time I'm seeing this footage. So go ahead and just give this a pour. This is a satisfying video. This would be hashtag satisfying. Just take it in. Once you're done that first layer, go ahead and run a heat gun over top. You can also use a lighter as well. This just helps to get rid of air bubbles. It's a really cool process actually. This is layer two after I got the air bubbles out. Nothing's dried yet. I just wanted to do it in two separate layers. And this is where I'm focusing on getting the tops of the candy on the outer ring because there is a bit of a lip on this tray. So I want to make sure I got that. Simply run over the heat gun. You can see all those air bubbles just disappear just like that. And that's it. You're going to leave this to dry for about 24 hours. I know it sucks you have to wait, but do not touch it. 24 hours later, it is done. But be careful because it may not be fully dried for some reason. Give it a quick touch on the outside and boom. Clearly, I'm ready. I'm happy. Oh, look at that. And there it is, guys and it's smooth to the touch. It's like it's like a completely flat surface. Now, for those of you that want this candy tray but don't actually want to do the work to make one, <laughs> I'm giving this one away. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram, at Danocracy, leave a like and a comment on some of my pictures, and that's all you need to do to enter. I'll be shipping this anywhere in the world, this exact tray, this frozen candy forever. That's how you do it, guys. Okay, there you guys have it. How cool did this turn out? As mentioned, like two seconds ago, I will be giving this exact tray away. I signed the back just because I'm conceited like that. This is heavy, so this is gonna cost me money to ship this. Whoever wins, let's say the winner's in like, I don't know, Japan or Australia. 
Uh, this will cost me quite a bit of money, but it's okay. Turned out cool. You're also getting $26 worth of peppermint candy and about $26 worth of resin and a $5 tray and a 30 cent autograph. <laughs> yeah. If you're interested in winning this exact tray, follow me on Instagram at Danocracy. Like and comment to my latest picture. I'm going to give this contest a week. We'll give it a week. And I'll be announcing the winner on my Instagram story in one week from today, next Sunday. If you guys enjoyed this, give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more craft DIYs like this. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so these videos will pop up on your recommended. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in my next video. See you guys later.